Conor McGregor said something in an interview one day, and man, it landed so much. He said, man, most of you, when you start winning, that's when you get lazy. He was like, you'll sleep on a win and wake up with a loss. And I was like, that's what I'm doing right now. Every time I think it's good, that's when I start relaxing. And then I wonder why the breakdowns happen. If you don't understand how energy works in your life, now you're being controlled by the paper. That's why when people lose all this money, all of a sudden they, oh, oh my God, oh my. That doesn't happen to me because I'm operating off a completely different template. So the level of success that I strive for is sustainable peace. It's not get all this money and I got these cars and live in a 9200 uh, 92 square foot house on this big lot with this waterfall in the back. That to me, back when I was living in my car, was like this massive big thing. Right now, it's not a massive big thing. It's a way of life. So it makes sense. It feels effortless for me because I wasn't driving for the house. I was driving for a better version of myself. And the outside is the physical manifestation of what's going on inside. I didn't force this. I didn't force the wife. I didn't force the kid. I didn't overcompensate. It's a mirror image of who I am, of who me and my wife are of who our family is. So this feels effortless for me. So that's the difference. The aim underneath, there is no quiet. It's like, if I can just get this house, then they'll like me. If I can just get this car, now people will think I'm cool. I'm 10 years past that because I saw what it does. And I'm so grateful to have been in the entertainment industry and been around some really powerful platinum selling artists, people who are A-listers and watch the self-destruction of their life of what most people perceive what success is. My friend, I thought he had it all. Put a bullet into his brain. He had everything but himself. He wasn't connected. He wasn't connected. He wasn't connected to God. He wasn't connected to himself but he was connected to all of the things outside of him. That is a person that gives themselves, gives their power away. And that made me rethink what success is. And so I come back to the conversation. I had to create a game that I actually liked playing, not one that looked good to other people. One that I wanted to play that made the most sense for me, my future family, which I now have, and so I'm not playing the game by, let me see, let me accumulate all these things. I'm playing the game as how can I be the highest vibration of myself? How can I, how can I uh, be uh, um, the, 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 the greatest representation of who my daughter will marry one day? How can I, how can I be uh, um, a pillar of a committed and devoted husband, be in a room with bunch of beautiful women and still harness the covenant of myself and my wife without having energy leak out and things like that. It's a rare breed. I know that. And this is the life that I've chosen because that's my version of success. So as I continue to strive for that, I look around in my life and I'm like, oh, these are the extras that come with it. So it, I'm not like, oh my goodness. $500,000 in a day with clientels and one-on-ones and things like that. It makes sense according to the life I've decided to live. It makes sense according to the life my wife and I have decided to live. So earning a million dollars in a month is not a surprise to me when my wife are talking about how do we earn $150 million in a month? And then the next question is, who do we need to be to make that kind of impact 
in humanity, how do we raise our vibration, which immutes a specific frequency? How can we serve humanity in such a way where that $150 million a month is effortless? Also, what are we going to do with the $150 million a month? So all of this is a part of an actual plan that we've talked about. And it has us playing the game. And people, sometimes they're like, ah, I don't want to play no game. Cool, well then you'll, you will die playing somebody else's game. So we just learn how to play a game that we, uh, create a game that we actually like playing and we're both A players. The way you as a magnet works, what, what you want wants you, but also what you don't want wants you. And most of the time, there's a thought in your mind is, oh, I don't want this kind of thing. I don't, I don't want to die. And I, don't, I don't want this and I don't want, I don't want. So it sounds like the negative smurf. Oh, I hate this and I hate that. But it might not sound like that outwardly, but in the mind, the stinking thinking. It's over 55,000 thoughts of a, a day and whichever one you concentrate power to then starts to build this, it, it, it starts to create this wavelength that has this plastic universe shape itself around you. Just know that you're a very powerful magnet. You don't just randomly walk by somebody and then all of a sudden there's a shock. There's got to be something to that. There's got to be something to that. So let's just play in the realm of possibility. If you are the most powerful magnet in the world and you attune yourself, kind of like a radio station, to a specific station or frequency, think about how a radio station works. Static, shh, then you get a station you don't like. Why would you listen to a station you don't like? But then you attune it, you're like, oh, this is my station right here. And all of a sudden you start attracting people who like that music. Well, let's just say your attunement sometimes is not a station that you like, but you keep listening to it and complaining about the station that you don't like, but you keep listening to. You're telling the attuner, I like this station. So it's going to keep attracting the same kind of people that like that don't like this station, but they keep listening to it. Well, what if you turn that dial to a station you actually like? You're gonna feel different on the inside. And the feeling is the secret, said Neville Goddard. So then you start feeling different, which emotes a completely different frequency and no different than a sonar blip or the frequency from a dolphin. It goes, it goes out this way. Anything you put out comes back, but it doesn't come back this way. It comes back this way. So if you understand how to tune yourself, you'll send out a completely different signal. And whatever signal you send out, whoever's dancing to that signal, whoever wants to hear that station is who's going to show up. And that's why they say your vibe attracts your tribe, your vibration attracts your tribe nation. You are the five closest people that you choose to surround yourself around. But there's more than one language. It's not just what they're talking about. It's what they're not talking about. It's the frequency that they're in. It's how they live their life in integrity or not. There's no in between. You're either living in integrity or not. Um, tearing people down, gossiping, whatever. You'll become the sum total of that vibration, not the people. You'll become the sum total of the vibration. That's why if you move to France, you will become the sum total of the language that's spoken over there. But you'll speak like them, not like somebody who wants to learn French, who then goes to Starbucks and then puts on Rosetta Stone for five minutes a day. And then is like, oh, yeah, voulez-vous coucher avec moi? 
or you go to France and immerse yourself in the culture. Now you learn the, all the different languages, frequency, vibration, um, the, 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 the body language, there's so many different forms of languages. So understanding who you hang out with is a sum total of who you are as a person. Sometimes people are like, oh, I just can't, I just can't let them go. And guess what? They are the sum total of hanging on to something that they can't just let go. It just might manifest itself through different ways in which they speak, but your vibe will attract your tribe. Yeah, but this person's got a lot of money. Oh yeah, but they also don't have a relationship with their kids just like you. You're experiencing the overcompensation, but the sum total, there's a shared frequency inside of there. If you lead a busy life like me and millions of other people around the world, you might be struggling to get your nutrition in. That's where this stuff comes in, absolutely clutch. If health was easy, everyone would be doing it. But it should make it that easy. You scoop, you shake, and you go, and you get 26 vitamins and minerals, and every single ingredient inside this, and all of Hughes other products, has been expertly tested by their team to make sure you're getting exactly what you need. And if I'm really in a pinch for time, I'll grab their Ready to Drink, which has 35 grams of protein, 26 vitamins and minerals, and tastes delicious. Don't just take my word for it, though. People like Idris Elba, Diver CEO Stephen Bartlett, and hardest geezer who ran the entire length of Africa use this as part of their daily routine. So if you want to find out more, go to the link down below. You can get exclusive offers like if you sign up to their subscription service, you get 10% off all future orders. And if it's your first time ordering, you get a free shaker and t-shirt. It's also now available in major retailers in the UK and the US. What are you waiting for? Go get it.